the ISF Novices Chase is next two miles, three and a half furlongs. Um, top Holland for Matt Cooper, back Black Bess for Graham Clutterbuck, capably dangerous Martin Needham, Cleopatra, Leon van Rensburg, and Ipanema Plod for Alex Cherry. Now, quite a few of these have been a bit unsteady on their feet as they race away and have tipped up in previous races, so it'll be an interesting race this one. On trainer form, you'd expect Leon's horse Cleopatra to be the likely winner, but it's not jumped all that well. As they get to the first of the 16, they all jumped it nicely that time, though. And second is a ditch, and Cleopatra's gone already! And there you go. Cleopatra looked a red hot favourite for this, but the jumping was a concern, and she's departed the race already. And that's left four of them. As they take the fourth, and that's uncapably dangerous, was right down on his nose. And Ipanema Plod wasn't that much better. But it's Holland in the lead, leading by a good five lengths. They take the water, and they're well strung out now. And this race is now taking on a completely different complexion with the departure of the Leon van Rensburg horse. Well, they pass the big screen. That's the winning post and a complete circuit of a track to go. And Holland for Matt Cooper in the lead is five lengths clear. Of Black Bess in second for Graham Clutterbuck. Capably dangerous third. And then Ipanema Plant for Alex Cherry at the back in fourth. So make their way towards the next. As they skip over the sixth. Holland is clear. Cooper had his first win last week. His first win of the season last week. Black Bess in second for Graham Clutterbuck, who started the season well. He's pushing again to the top five. And Capable Dangerous third. If and even a plot at the back for Alex Cherry, who's had a woeful start to the season. Really, he must be really disappointed, but I think he had a few problems with his game as they get over the eighth. Oops. Set him back a bit, but hopefully he'll get on track. Soon, and Holland is in the lead by two lengths as they get over the ninth. Good jump there by Black Bess. Sees that one go alongside Holland. Capably dangerous is third, if and even a plod fourth. And suddenly, the field are separated by only about three lengths as they race into the final mile. And they all get over. Oh no, they don't. If and even a plod's gone. So Alex Cherry's disastrous start of the season continuing as he's out of this one when fourth place prize money was there for the taking at least but it's Holland in front just three left oh, Black Bess in second capably dangerous is in third and these three are the only three left in it and so they come down towards the next over that they go better jump there by Black Bess I've seen that one jump into the lead um, Holland in second, capably dangerous. He's back in third. It's Black Bess and Holland. Capably dangerous, switching to the outside. Over the 12th they go. It's four more to take now. This is the fourth last, the final ditch. And Black Bess and Holland. We've got three lengths on Capably Dangerous as they come down towards the third last and Black Bess has gone for home now. Holland drops away, Capably Dangerous trying to chase the leader but Black Bess looks like she's on a mission and she's gone five or six clear over the second last. Black Bess well clear and Capably Dangerous slow over the second last and it's looking like Black Bess is just going to pop the last to take this one. And the last is the water which it shouldn't be. And we're running this on the wrong track and it's Black Bess who's going to take it. Disqualify the winner, give the race to the second because they've run on the wrong course and we'll find a way to make that race fault. <laughs> Up towards the line, Black Best takes it. Oh, Capably dangerous second and Holland back in third. And run these races over the right courses, please. We shouldn't be jumping the water jump as the last fence. 
Um, Black Vest takes it for Graham Clutterbrook. Capably dangerous second for Martin Liam. Holland third for Matt Cooper. And they were the only three that finished.